All right, now that we've uh, done the pot with the paddle bottom and the foot ring, we're going to do a pot with feet. And this is a tripod pot. It's going to have three feet. I'm going to lightly texture the dust with cornstarch. It's the same template as before, so you can see the various forms you can have from just one template. I'm going to lightly trace again. And this time, I'm going to use one of my rim lines. So I have a line here, and I'm going to use this mesh. This is, uh, as I said before, gutter guard. You can also, uh, they have some really great stuff that goes under uh, the meat in a deli. If you go to a local deli, they'll probably give you a piece. Pull that off. Trim, same as before. This is kind of my centering, the setup. Okay, and we would take the cloth and soften the rim. And we'll do this step of trimming at a bevel. Just keep in mind you want to have a good half inch overlap, especially if you're going to push the pot out. If you're, if you're going to keep it straight, it's not as critical. But if you're going to give the pot volume, you really need to have an overlap so that it doesn't split. Scoring. And now we're going to get it up to the vertical and make the feet. Tack it. So for the tripod feet, this is another technique of pinching. Paddling, pinching, darting, they're all ways to alter form. So even if you're a wheel thrower, if you just make cylinders without bottoms, you can do all of these techniques. So now I have my cylinder, I have it in the round, and I'm going to score the base. and slip. And lightly just clean that edge before I start pinching. Since this might be a cup or a jar, and I'm not going to dart this form, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to center the seam in between where I think two feet are going to be. So basically what I'm trying to do here is make an equilateral triangle. Remember those? So equal sided. Actually, your hands do that. If you put your hands like that and you translate it into the pot, you'll get equal sided form. So you want something that is an equal sided triangle. Now, once you play around with this form, you may decide you're feeling kind of lopsided one day and you might alter that and not make it equal. But to start and to get three equally spaced feet, that's what you want to do. So now I'm taking this and I'm pinching the walls together, trying to uh, pinch those two planes that I've scored together. And just keep your eye on that, keep your eye on that little triangle that happens in the center. And as long as that is going smaller and staying equal sided, your feet should be equally spaced. And I'm just continuing to push these together. And get to a point where I will close off the base. I clean that up a little bit. I'll do all the cleanup in the end, I like to pay a lot of attention to um, the good craftsmanship, so I try to keep it nice and clean. And for this center piece, now you always have a little bit of a hole there. If your slab is really thick, you might not. It might just close up. And I just take a piece of clay and make a little ball. Flatten it. Just enough to cover that little opening. 
if you have a little stamp that would fit in there, you could also stamp it. Setting that right, right in there like that. And then I'll just make sure it's sealed around that opening. And once again, we need to do the selective drying because I want to push this pot out and give it some nice volume. But if I go to do that now, the feet will probably would get pushed down as I push it out. So that just shows you the stance that that pot can have before we push it out. You don't have to push things out. It's just that that uh, gives it volume. And I'm kind of a more is more person. So I tend to push things out as far as I can take them. So once again, we'll use the grocery bags. Set it in there, bring it up around, just letting the feet out. Right now I'm going to begin pushing this out, and I'm just going to go in and use my fingers to push it out. And I'm only going to push out up to that rim line, because this could be a cup, it could be a jar, and I'm going to set it up so that it could be either. So I go around a little bit at a time, check my rim. And as I'm doing this, I'm taking some of that sort of right angle edge. I'm taking that down a little bit. I like a softer edge. And I'll go around again. And this is the part where your, your pot really starts to come alive. And you can start to envision the many things it can be. So I'm just going to keep pushing this out, take it as far as I can go, which I like to take them pretty far. I've put my fingers through many walls of pots, and that's when the big what if comes in. All right, well, now I have a big hole in my pot. What if I do this? And usually you can figure something out. Generally, I learn way more from my mistakes. OK, that's looking pretty good. So now again, I'll look from above. I'll keep my circular. And from above, I can see a lot of things that I can't see from here, which is that this usually over the feet is sticking out more. So I need to swell out that belly in between the feet a little bit more. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to turn out this rim a little bit. so that it's not going inward at the top. If it's going to be a cup, my preference for cups is that the rims do not go inward. I like rims that uh, go out very slightly. Or they could be straight, but going in, I find, is a difficult uh, drinking maneuver. So now we have this little tripod pot. And I have not talked about how to fill in the inside, so I'm going to do that right now. The inside is still kind of soft. The outside has stiffened up. And I'm just going to take these little lugs. And basically, it's just a little piece of clay like that that I'll go in and shove inside each of the feet. And you can choose not to do this. And I, and I don't do it on some forms, like jars and some little creamers. It's mostly because in cups, people are stirring, and you're adding things like sugar or cocoa. And I just like the cleanliness of something that has a smooth inside for that. So now that's kind of filled in nicely. And it's just by taking those lugs, making a little point on it is important because you want to get that clay right down into the point of that foot. You don't want to create any little air pocket in there. 